Hello students of Room 5. Today is March 32nd and we're going to be watching Mystery Science. Just kidding, April Fools. Today is April 1st and some people associate this day as April Fools Day, a day where you play little tricks on each other for a good laugh. Mystery Doug is here to tell us why we celebrate April Fools Day. Let's watch together. Hi, it's Doug. Today we have a question about April Fool's Day from someone named Mira. Let's give her a call now. Hi, Doug. Hi, Mira. I have a question for you. Why do we celebrate April Fool's Day? That's a great question. April Fool's Day is always a day of the year you have to be a little careful. You never know. You might walk into a room and find out it's been filled with balloons. Or maybe you find your classroom has been covered in newspaper. April Fool's Day might be one of the strangest holidays there is. A holiday where people play pranks on each other. Little things that might annoy someone or make them laugh or sometimes just confuse people. Here's one of my favorite pranks. This teacher played a prank on his students by giving them the hardest spelling quiz ever. All right, going through the list with the spelling. You're checking your own list. Here we go. The first word was Blorsky. I lost my Blorsky at a carnival. B-L-O-R-S-K-E-E. -E. The next word is Spiku. Look, there's a Spiku. S-P-E-E-K-U-Z-S-L-M-N. There's silent letters at the end of that one. But then he told them the truth. This is an April Fool's joke! <laughs> April Fool's. No one knows exactly why or when April Fool's Day started, but it's been going on a while. Every year for a long time now, newspapers tend to print at least one fake story or picture. Most people have fun trying to spot the one story or photo that's fake. But always, every April Fool's Day, there's someone who forgets what day of the year it is, and they wind up getting tricked. Like, maybe someone offers you a cookie, only for you to find out it's been filled with toothpaste. Yuck. Have you ever had someone play an April Fool's prank on you? Now would be a good time to pause the video and discuss. Okay, so I'll give you a moment to think about it. Have you ever had someone play an April Fool's prank on you, or did you play a prank on someone else? Hmm, I'm thinking. I don't know if I've ever had one happen to me. Pause our video, and after you're done thinking about it and talking to somebody nearby, go ahead and click Resume. All right, let's keep going. Since lots of April Fool's pranks are about confusing or annoying people, not everyone loves getting pranks played on them. Like, imagine you found your car covered in post-it notes. You might find the prank funny, but other people might be upset. It could really depend on how far the prank goes. For example, one year on April Fool's Day, a television station in Boston, USA, a place that has no volcanoes, aired a fake news story claiming that a nearby hill had started to erupt lava. It was meant as a joke, but a lot of people took it seriously. They panicked and they packed their cars up and left their homes. When they later found out that it wasn't true, the news station got in big trouble. Modern technology makes it harder and harder to know what's fake. Like, take these two photographs. You've got a photo of a lion and a photo of a child. But using a computer, it's actually fairly easy to take the child out of the photo and make it look like, see, there's a child reaching out and giving a lion a hug. And it's not just photos that someone can fake using modern technology. One year, the British television channel BBC aired this video. Can you spot what's wrong with it? It shows penguins flying, but this video is not real. Animators used computer software to draw penguins, then used special effects to make it seem like a real video. They did such a good job that some people saw this video and were actually fooled. They thought someone found penguins that could fly. Will you remember not to get fooled on April Fool's Day? Here's a tip. Just always remember what day it is. 
If it's the beginning of April and you hear or see something that seems a little unbelievable, maybe think twice. That's all for this week's question. Thanks, Mira, for asking it. Now, for the next episode, I reached into my question jar and licked three questions <laughs> submitted to me that I'm thinking about answering. When this video is done playing, you'll get to vote on one. You can choose from, what makes food delicious? Why do different instruments make different sounds? Or why do we have allergies? So submit your vote when the video is over. I want to hear from all of you watching. There are mysteries all around us. Stay curious and see you next week. All right. So one thing I want to say before I give you your challenge of the day is if you decide to prank someone at home or in your family, make sure to be kind about it. Remember, sometimes pranks can be annoying or frustrating, and we wouldn't want to do that to our family members. Think about if they will think it's funny. Think about if they're in on the joke. And for you personally, remember, today is April 1st. So if you see or hear something strange, it could be that somebody's playing an April Fool's joke on you. Now, there are three questions to vote on, and this is going to be our challenge of the day. So in Google Classroom, you are going to select which of these choices you would like to see as the next video. It's possible that Mystery Science is still on their hiatus, still on their break, so it may be a while before we hear the answers. But again, your choices are what makes food delicious, why do different instruments make different sounds? And why do we have allergies? So in our Google Classroom, let me know which of these choices you would like, and I will submit the top vote to Doug at the end of the week. Stay safe, Room 5, and I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.